Well, here we are again with the three stacked up. Uh, just because I disassembled the FM radio, right? Uh, the FM radio, the tuner, and uh, and it was in such a great state that I simply decided that you know what, and I needed to test it. I just wanted to be sure that everything was working, so I wouldn't introduce any problems, right? Just like I did with the power amplifier. So what was what would have been the best way to test it, right? Just hooking it up, and besides. Since the two components, the tuner and amplifier, were in such a great state, I decided to hook it up the the cassette deck as well, and it seems to it powered up. It didn't explode. Awesome. <laughs> and uh, but I know you actually uh, actually test it all as well. Let's show let's show everything. There you are, the tuner working beautifully. Beautiful green dial in here. And there's a faint green light in here on the two uh, and the two meters in here uh, and of course AM FM and you control the output level in here uh, that goes down to the amplifier so the thing is the the AM is connected to my monopole antenna here that goes all the way up to the attic which I have a very long uh, antenna for for short and medium waves uh, and also on the and the FM is actually connected to my half half wave uh, dipole here. It's just completely improvised here, stacked up on the on the wall here. And uh, and it's usually the uh, the dipole is usually a uh, is usually a uh, oops uh, three hundred ohms parallel tape like this. Uh, the cable in here, uh, so it has the two cables in here so they're actually constant impedance between the two 300 ohms the monopole is a piece of wire basically but just increasing the volume see there's this is the AM radio it has excellent reception you can tell here the signal strength So it's receiving very well. Okay, of course, there's a lot of local stations. I couldn't discriminate much between all the other stations, but it seems to be very good in selectivity. I don't see any interference in here. And also, it's getting a excellent signal strength. Of course, the antenna is very good, so uh, it, might be, uh, it might be just also, the antenna is also contributing to this. But overall, it's working very well. Uh, I'm not really putting it too loud because I don't want to it's, it's kind of late here, so I don't want to wake up the girls. And then there's the FM. The FM, you have the stereo, the stereo indicator, and also the dis distance uh, stations is also indicated in here if you're actually operating when, when FM is very, very uh, low power. And then you have the signal strength here, and this is the tuning. So the tuning actually indicates, this for FM, the tuning indicates where, where how far along you are on the station. See, as you start, Losing the, the tuning, that's the FM stereo loses it, and then uh, you, you can indicate here. So you lost the station. So there's some distance stations in here. There you go. There you go. Another station. So you get all these, kind of low, just because I'm trying to keep the volume low, so we don't wake up anybody. But overall, beautiful dial. Everything is working perfectly good sensitivity it's 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 good selectivity as well I think there was a station there you go see a station with a very strong signal right here whoop a station with a very strong signal in here see so that's good overall good good information although this despite the strong signal this one's not transmitting in the stereo <laughs> then you go to auto you actually you're increasing the the sensitivity on this position uh, but at the expense of selectivity, so you may be, you may be more susceptible to, to uh, interference. You see how the signal strength increased with the distance module because then you actually increase the sensitivity. There you go; it decreased a little bit. So that's how the basic operation of the tuner, of course. But yeah, overall, pretty good, pretty, pretty, pretty impressive uh, operation of the tuner. All right, um, I, this is the receiver, sorry, the tuner, 
uh, talk it to Evan uh, and he actually he's gonna keep the tuner and good news for me at least <laughs> uh, he gave me the uh, the tape deck so I'm absolutely no about it so really happy so thank you Evan and um, I'm gonna do justice for it and on the tuner actually perfect thing how the design is, is is done for the the repairman basically you remove the under cover and you have full access on the chassis it's a great chassis here where the the board is, is firmly held here perfectly so you can do the repair in a very easy way it's absolutely fantastic the way that they actually engineer this product so the repairman can have an easier life <laughs> people don't do these things uh, anymore well i'm in the middle of uh, recapping and sorry forgot to take pictures of the before and after but you can appreciate <laughs> the difference again just like before you can appreciate the difference between the old 220 by 16 volts and the new capacitor 220 by 25 volts it's the difference in size is is incredible and i found some capacitors that are still they were started to leak uh, as well another one thousand microfarads by 25 volts there you go the big one here and the smaller one <laughs> that's going to replace this so that's it moving on all right mission accomplished uh, all capacitors replaced all replaced with niche cone or rubicon or panasonic and just a few a few tidbits here uh, i'm gonna zoom in a little bit is the this capacitor in here this this little one here it's a 0.47 470 nanofarad capacitor this was a little bit slanted away from this wire and I actually had to analyze the circuit just to see if there was any problem with the with the interference and whatnot, but it, it wasn't. So this capacitor was very slanted over there, but by the original manufacturer. But now it's 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 everything all right. The other one that I actually had to study a little bit more, I just switched it a little bit here, is this tiny little one here. It's a Z5U capacitor, which is not an electrolytic. The electrolytic was a uh, 220 nanofarads. Uh, this is cited by these other two capacitors in here and this is part of the integrated circuit uh, this integrated circuit is the LA 3350 this is actually I thought it was the amplifier but it's in fact a um, uh, a Demux uh, FM demultiplexer so these capacitors are a little bit critical to actually give channel separation and whatnot uh, but the thing is that this capacitor is not critical to be an electrolytic so I actually get a MG5U capacitor which is a poly uh, ceramic capacitor and that's that's the yellow one here uh, and actually always always well now uh, I don't think there will be a, any any trouble in here that was the these were the only uh, two things that I had to truly uh, truly analyze on the circuit and, and and get some some additional consideration so I wouldn't ruin the circuit uh, with my replacements so yeah with this now it's just the final testing and wrapping up well, moment of truth, all cleaned it up in front, all the cleanup on the on the fascia and on the buttons and all that, so everything is good to go. So let's try all the bands. Let's turn it on, first of all, of course, the amplifier. All right, good. Just setting the, uh, the proper input. So let's see here, a tuner. Okay, let's just set the volume properly. And let's try the tuner. Let's see. There you go. All right. So let's see. Well, so I'm in FM. It's actually receiving stereo in auto. Auto means the position here is means that is actually uh, um, that is actually selects if uh, the station is based on the signal strength selects if the station is distant or not and if you're receiving a stereo or not so you can tell here that there's a uh, it's receiving 
there's another one. So FM stereo, another station. See, this measures the signal strength and this measures how close the station is from tuning. A good station in here. And but the dial is absolutely stunning. You just get a little bit closer on the dial. It's a little bit stunning. The dial and the and the and the meters. There you go. See? Oh there you go. Got a good good signal in here. Whoa, there's a good signal in here. Beautiful, beautiful signal. Let's try to reduce the volume here so I don't get nicked by the <laughs> by the YouTube uh, the YouTube copyright anyways it is working well it is working well the radio so it's all good man it's all good radio is, is done amplifier is done oh it's good to be shipped <laughs> there you go so with this I conclude both uh, I was going to do the the cassette uh, player I'm not gonna do it right now just because I have to um, well not only I, I mentioned Evan actually gave me it was kind enough he gave me away he made me the, the tape deck so I'm really happy with that <laughs> and um, and I'm gonna do it in at another time I just have other projects going on so I'll, I'll, I'll wrap up on the cassette deck at another time but overall tape deck and the amplifier the Yamaha set all good together that's it so hope you enjoyed and this concludes this series see you next time